Hi everybody. So this is a, uh, a re-upload of a video I did um, explaining how, how I use Notion to keep track of everything that's going on in all of my uh, Call of Cthulhu and Delta Green games. Um, so what Notion is, is Notion is a free online database tool. Uh, it's a freemium tool. So if you, uh, you, you are going to need a Notion account in order to use this, but it's a free thing. Um, I personally don't use the, any of the pay tools. Um, like they have AI tools, like you can use the AI to write one shots for you or whatever. There's, there's all kinds of upgrades that you can buy for, for business use or whatever, but to use this, it's totally free. Um, everything that's in this database. Um, so in, in my version, this just contains everything that has come up in all of my games. Uh, just whatever it is, like um, there's some, some stuff that I, I have wanted to be able to look at at a glance, like um, uh, how, does, um, how does build work? Like, um, uh, you know, how does, how does damage bonus work with build? And, um, things like that and it's you know I have some stuff in here that's like sort of like a little mini game master screen um, but I also have lots and lots of stuff in here that's um, like uh, weapons and things like that because uh, there's just all kinds of things that have come up in different games where you know I've run Dark Ages campaigns I've run um, campaigns in Vietnam I it, uh, I've run campaigns in, um, you know, like 1890s London, and, and then I, I've kitted this out so that I can just go over, you know, wherever, and then say, okay, like 1890s, um, what would my players have available to them in the 1890s? Um, like, uh, if, what kind of shotguns, you know, what kind, of, uh, what kind of pistols and stuff like that, right? And then the same goes for uh, Dark Ages or um, World War II or, or if I go over here, then it's going to have everything that has the tag weapon in here, right? So that's how this thing works, though, is that um, it uses the tag system. So um, like if I go into the root game database, um, the root game database is just going to be a catch-all. It's, it's where everything, everything goes, everything that's in the database goes into the root game database. And then all of the other drop-downs are just how, it organi how it's organized. So, um, like, if we look in here, um, you can see that I've got, like, a fist. Um, like, what does a fist do? Um, it's, you know, it has the base chance, the damage bonus, and all this stuff, and then the, it has this drop-down with all the arrows in it. And then I have, uh, I have a monster in here, um, and so on and so forth, like all kinds of skills and stuff like that. Um, and I did put, I did put a lot of that stuff into the, the version that you can download and, and duplicate over here. Um, so, but it's from the Chaosium SRD, so it's going to be kind of bare bones, but it's going to be like the kind of public domain stuff that uh, Chaosium publishes for third-party developers of Call of Cthulhu. Um, so no monsters, no spells. <laughs> uh, but um, if, uh, if we go into here, right, so you can see that uh, in here, in um, uh, armor, Everything is going to have the tag armor. So that's how it's organized into this, this view. Is It's a copy of the root game database. And I can click on this and go to the root game database. But also, if I go down here and click on new, then it automatically knows that it, it's some type of armor. Because if it's on the armor page, then it has to have the tag armor in it. And then it's going to have the option to do a drop down and say that is this, you know, is this a World War II era type armor? Is it a 
1890s type armor and so on and so forth, right? Um, and then the same thing for, uh, like, um, I have all of my adventures in here, um, and this is where it really, the rubber really meets the road, is like if I go into a, um, you know, one of my adventure notes, and then I can, I can read all this stuff to my players, you know, say like, okay, Russian Hills is this neighborhood that's um, right next to Fisherman's Wharf, and, and then I can, you know, it's all just right there at a glance, and then I say, oh, well, I want to grab, like, a uh, shotgun from the police, you know, wherever, um, so I can just say, okay, uh, here is what a shotgun does, you know, uh, and then pull it up just really quickly at a glance. So that's how I use it. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the 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 bare bones one, the one the the blank slate version, which is this is what you're gonna get when you when you do the download. Um, so when you uh, when you open up the PDF file. You're gonna get a copy of this, which is just the um, the uneditable version, and then you're gonna to need to come over here and make your own duplicate. You're also gonna to need to make a Notion account, but um, this this is not editable. Like you can see that this is just a copy of the database. You need to make your own duplicate in order to be able to edit it. So um, so then. But I'll just show you some of the stuff that's in here. There's some things that are from the uh, I made one I made one kind of example spell, which is just like something that I just made up. Um, and uh, and then, but it has like there's a template here for like the cat the 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 costs you know and magic points like the casting time and uh, sanity. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right, and um, the same thing for if we go into monsters. Um, I uh, my my template for uh, monsters is going to give you um, yeah. So here's here's the the drop down. Like if I make a a new page, um, and then this one is actually this view is organized into a gallery view because it will show the pictures um, if there is a picture in the file like if you want to you can really customize this thing uh, and then just you know go into here and then change the view um, rename it do whatever you want with it make more views that um, you can use the, the filters and the tags system to, uh, to change all of that like you can see that on this one, in my version, it's going to have the filter. Everything that's in here is going to have to have the, the monster tag in there, right? Um, in order to show up in the monster um, page. But then if I, if I make a new monster, there's a template, um, which is just, uh, it's just, I just click on that. And then it gives me the option, it gives me a, 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 a monster page to fill out, right? Including a little spot for an image. Um, and then with the images, like there's an embed link where you can, if you have like a, um, uh, an Imgur file, or um, you can just upload a, any, any kind of art that you have, you can upload that directly from your computer, or um, you can use uh, Unsplash or, or, you know, Giphy, um, like I can go, I can go up here, I can add a cover, and um, I can use a, um, I can do a, um, oh, I guess they might have taken that away. You used to be able to do GIFs, you could do GIFs for your, um, for your, for your cover, um, but uh, I don't know, maybe they took that away. But, uh, but yeah, so, it, it, it has templates for, you know, all kinds of things. Like there's there's a template NPCs. Um, like if I click down here and I say new. Um, whoops, didn't want to do that. Unwanted 
a new NPC. Then it's going to give me a little um, form, you know, a, a fillable form for, for an NPC with tables and things like this. And then if you want to make your own tables, it's really easy too. You just do a little backslash. And then, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can put in here. Like you can do uh, toggle lists. Like if I have a lot of information about this, you know, this character, and then I want to do a drop down and then be able to hide it, you can do that. Or um, if I want to make a, a table, there's T table, and then it'll even give me the option to link it to the root game database if, if, if I wanted to. Or, you know, if I, if I specifically want a, uh, a table for just, just in Delta Green NPCs, and I can make a new one and then say, um, it's going to be a table view, and I'm going to name it uh, Delta Green NPC, and then... Um, what I can do is put a filter on it here, and it's gonna be tags, um, Delta Green NPC. So, um, you know, if I switch over here, it's gonna have everybody that's an NPC in there. And if I switch here, it's, gonna, it's only gonna show my Delta Green NPCs, right? So that's how, that's how you use this thing. And again, you know, you're going to need a Notion account. So go, go over to Notion, make an account, and then make a duplicate of, of this, um, this copy of the, um, of the database. And, you know, everything isn't going to be in here because, once again, that stuff is copyrighted. Like, I took a bunch of stuff from Fairfield Project or took stuff from my books and, and then plugged it in here. So that stuff is copyrighted, but I can use it for my own use. Um, but this is just going to be bare bones, and then it's going to give you the option to duplicate it, and then you can edit it, and then do whatever you want with with your version, right? So I hope that answers every, every, all of your questions. And then if you you know if you do have any more questions, just put a comment, and then I'll I'll try and get back to you. And I think I hope I covered everything this time. <laughs> Um, I felt like I didn't do as good of a job the last time. So this is a re-upload. But, uh, but yeah, if you kicked in a buck on Drive for the RPG, thank you. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you. Um, I put the money towards more books for Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> if you're interested, you know, in publishing your own stuff, just know that Drive Through RPG will give you store credit. And then you can uh, publish your own stuff and then buy books through them. And, uh, yeah, it will defray the cost of further books. But um, yeah, so I guess that's it. And take care of yourselves until the next one.